Hey guys, Brian here for Disc Golf Examiner and I have something special to show you. I got a special new gadget here from Dynamic Discs. It's the Retriever uh, 18 inch edition, uh, extends out to 16 feet. So this is a really great reacher for your disc golf discs. Uh, 16 feet is a lot of distance and it, it's great because it's metal, it's, it's hard, it's not, it doesn't bend too easy uh, and so it'll definitely grip onto any disc uh, that you need it to. More importantly, if you end up grabbing something more like a branch, uh, it can actually, it has enough uh, weight and heft to it that you can actually probably pull that as well, uh, as long as it's not too, too big. Convict return. I was able to use this to fish discs out of the water at uh, Knob Hill, hole 13. My friend Matt accidentally threw into the water there. Well, Matt, I don't know where this went out of bounds. It's floating down river back towards the tee pad. So. Uh, I was able to get fish it out of the water and get it back to him. Uh, definitely OB. Who knew the St. Pro could float, guys? Other places I've been able to use this thing are for friends that are were beginners uh, that were thrown on a narrow fairway and ended up way up, way up in a tree. Uh, unfortunately, I was just, I had a little trouble getting it because probably because I'm, you know, I'm 5'10", I'm not quite um, as tall as some of you out there, but I had a friend who was just, uh, he's about six foot, six foot three actually, uh, who was able to get the disc with this thing. I think this gives you a lot of reach, whether you're short or you're tall. Um, if you're tall, you just have that much more. I really don't see anybody going beyond that, uh, you know, 25, 30 feet mark, I don't think. Um, you know, who knows? Especially if you're a beginner. Definitely, these are great for beginners. Another place I was able to use this, which I was very thankful for, was when I accidentally threw my Emac Truth that I have three aces with into a tree with lots of vines. And luckily I was able to get this up there, grab onto those vines and shake it loose. So I'm very thankful for this now. If you are thinking about getting one, they are on Dynamic Disc website, dynamicdisc.com. I want to say a very special thank you to them for sending this to me to review. You can actually see here, get real close for you, that hook is what you use to pull the disc. Uh, whether it's the inside of the rim or the outside of the disc, you can get it pretty good with that hook. And it is waterproof or water resistant to my testing. Uh, it is strong enough to pull branches and vines and I think it's a great investment. Once again, let's show you just how long 16 feet is. That's, that's long guys. That is, that's from me to you right now. And it's actually, you can hold it pretty steady. So, I mean, if you're worrying about like, kind of wobbling it out there too far. That, that's still pretty, that's still really good. That fits for me in my Ranger bag just fine. Uh, especially I put it like in the umbrella holder type area for the smaller drinks too, uh, in that area. And it, it stays there great. Definitely worth the investment. It only weighs a pound. And you know, maybe at nighttime, you know, I'm not gonna condone it, but Maybe you can beat up some bad guys or, you know, go rooftop, you know, swinging. What's, that's what Daredevil does. Why not? All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for the review of the Dynamic Disc Retriever. Hope you enjoyed. And to all of you out there who have lost discs, I, I hope this solves it for you. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Keep banging those chains.